Lori Strecker. Often people ask me, well, what's easier, the equipment or the mat work? And I'm here to tell you that they both work really well together. But here's the deal with this. The equipment provides resistance and feedback that often cannot be found on the mat. A really good example of this is the roll down on the Cadillac. So I'd like to show you is how we do the roll down here and how it will benefit your roll down on the mat. So here we go. Classical mat work roll down starts with your feet flexed, your legs together, your arms out in front. Now this can be a really tricky deal to do, but let's go ahead and do it. So I'm taking an inhale, roll from the hips, and exhale, imprinting your spine all the way down. Exhale, reach your arms over your head until you make the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lift your gaze and dive right through your arms, curling forward, reaching for your toes. Again, inhale, roll back from the hips, imprinting one vertebra at a time, all the way down, reaching your arms over your head. Let's take one more coming up, inhale, and exhale, rolling back up. See, that's kind of the sticky part, either going down and getting the nice roll, or coming back up. We want to make it smooth so we articulate and it's gentle on the body. Here's where the Cadillac roll down bar comes in. Place our feet along these curl poles, hold on to the roll down bar, about shoulder width apart, so it's very similar, and then give the bar a little bit of a press so that you can engage your core side body muscles. And begin. Inhale, curling back from the hips, rolling all the way down, one vertebra at a time. And then here's where the springs come in. You're such a nice partner. Inhale, lift your head, and exhale, peel one vertebra at a time, all the way back up. Now let's say when you're doing this exercise, it's still not feeling very round. Maybe it's feeling a little archy, we're skipping stuff, kind of like skipping stones across a pond. We're gonna amend the position a little bit. That could mean we start with the knees bent, just giving the hips a little bit more room to curl. So inhale, curl back from the hips, pulling down to safer low spine, ribs, and then finally shoulders and the back of the head. Coming back up, inhale, exhale, lift your gaze, start with your head, and peel and curl all the way back up. So that can be a really nice entryway to get your spine to bend if it's has been a little resistance in doing so. Another way to do it is to bend your knees and stand your feet on the mat. And inhale, curl back from the hips, rolling on following your belly all the way down and gently hugging the shoulder blades back lengthening out through your neck looking straight up into the ceiling and then curling and really firing up those abs as you smooth out your belly to come back up one more way i'd like to show you for those who have tight hip flexors and feel a little sensitive to this is to come into a diamond position so soles of the feet come together fall out wide, and again, curl back from the hips, let your sit, go back, ribs, shoulders, and then your neck, and roll back up, inhale, lift, and exhale, curling all the way back up, and holding these back together. A really nice finish for this is to place your feet back to the poles, Cross your hands to the center of the bar and take your roll down to a side bend. So curl through the hips, rotating those hips onto your thighs, imprinting spine down. And gently hug your shoulder blades back, opening up your heart, opening your collarbones, taking the right hand off out to the side so you feel your bicep touching the mat or your tricep. Slide over your head, reaching and looking back as you Capture the edge of the mat and continue to draw it down through your shoulder blades, your ribs, your hips, and then maybe sliding the right foot across, depending on how tight your hip is. Maybe you cross your feet, or maybe the leg just rests on the mat. And fanning open your right side, feeling lots of length, lots of space. And then uncross, slide your foot back, find the chrome pole. Sweep your arm around. This is really good for grip strength, by the way. Recross your hands. Lift your head, gaze right through the V of your arms, and curl and roll 
curl right back up. Let's do the other side. Curl back your hips again. Now with your sacrum, draw your abdominals in, put your ribs, your spine. Wrap your shoulders back, shine your heart brightly. Left hand comes off. Sweep it around over your head. Slide your back. See what you're finding back here as you pull the mat. And maybe slide the left leg across. And if it's not too tight, you can cross your ankle to your opposite ankle. Just settle down through the ribs and the shoulders and hips. And then across, slide your foot back to the pole. Sweep your arm back around. Cross your hands and commit to the strength of your shoulders, your arms, your core. Lift your gaze, look through the V of your arms and feel and curl all the way back up. So thanks for taking a look at roll downs with me and the parallels between Pilates mat work and Pilates studio apparatus work. And I look forward to seeing you soon.